the realest you ever seen. I can't say it no other way. Like, I am just very real. Very real. And if anybody tell y'all otherwise, they're a lie. They're a whole lie. <laughs> what's going on you guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new to my channel welcome welcome my name is Chrissy J I would love for you to be a Hi. part of the J bird fam Hi. all you gotta do is give the video a thumbs up comment share and subscribe and then ring the bell so you don't miss another upload if you are a returning J bird then y'all know the drill welcome back to another vlog this is my little Yay. vlogger in training but she never is dressed, so I hardly show her on here anymore. But yeah, so happy Sunday, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I am um, today was supposed to be my bed day, but I woke up with energy and I just I'm not in that bed mode. Now Friday was all another story. Friday I was dragging. But today I kinda like feel good. I feel I don't feel like I wanna be in the bed all day. Which I know I wasn't gonna be in the like, actual bed all day but i claimed today to be like a lazy lounge around the house type of day which it might end up still being um a house day but i don't really necessarily want it to be if that makes sense you know like i really kind of like i'm like girl be as productive as you could be like never let a day go by which i was gonna be productive but i don't know i might just be a little more productive so i think what i'm gonna do is um clean up because y'all know we're always cleaning. <sighs> Clean up. Um, I got to the bathroom. I got those containers. I might I might organize those. I really kind of wanted to be a separate video. And I'm still behind on my um, my footage. I have so much footage, y'all. Like I did a, um, a video, um, a refrigerator organization. I need to upload that. We still got to get a few more things from the market. So I'm debating on if we're going to leave out or if I'm going to go ahead and put in an, um, an order from Audi with Instacart. And just have it delivered to the house. Because um, I kind of want to like stock the fridge so I can show you guys like what it looks like with the containers and everything. Everything fully stocked. And I might organize under my bathroom sink. But I'm not pressed to do that just yet. I'm not pressed. I have so many clothes to wash. Not so many because we purged, but like all my clothes that I do have left are dirty. So I need to wash clothes, clean the bathroom. I'm going to try to get in my closet and organize it a little something. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm dreading my closet, y'all. Is it just me? Like the closet is like, I would love to have like that perfect organized closet. But to get it to that point is where I struggle. Like... <sighs> yeah maybe it'll come in may maybe it'll come in may but it ain't it ain't gonna be in april car real quick because i was like i need to make a run to the store to go get some cleaning stuff um so i ran out real quick i was debating on going to um run into dollar tree to get some containers but i'm like nah let me go ahead and focus on what i want to um you know focus on like what i want to get done do that first and then afterwards i can see what i need i don't want to just keep like 
buying stuff and then I don't even know how I'm going to organize stuff or what. So, trying to get some things done while I got the momentum. For sure. I think Sean's a little <laughs> frustrated with me because I was talking big ish, y'all. I was like, yeah, we're going to an adult tonight and have fun, drink, chill. Like, mm, girl. Your girl had a half of a drink and knocked out. Okay. <laughs> I am just, I am not the party goer anymore. I used to party. Let me tell y'all, like back in my 20s, ah, oh, I love my 20s. When I lived in Florida, we used to, like if we knew we was going out, we would take a nap. We would take a nap around, I would say, like we first we would go shopping, get our outfit and everything. Every single time we went out, we always went shopping before. So we would go shopping, go home, eat something, take a nap. We probably will go to bed around like 9, 9.30 and set our alarm. We really set our alarms, y'all, for 12 o'clock. Get up and start getting ready for the club at 12 o'clock. Go to the club around maybe like quarter to 2, 1.30, something like that, 1.30, 1.45. Party until like 4, 4.30. And then go to the after hour spot from like five to seven <laughs> and then hit breakfast seven o'clock and get home about nine o'clock no lie and nine o'clock get home get our shower crash and i'm talking about sleep all day on sunday we wake up in the evening like that was the <laughs> <laughs> that was the life that like me just saying it and running it down like that it sounds like you had zero responsibilities when i that was the i had the most responsibilities in my life that time well except for uh kate and i didn't have him yet but oh my god i don't know how i did it like i'm like dang how do you how do how do, how do i do that i don't know what it is like i wonder why is it when you get older it just you know like what is it about your body or whatever that changes that makes you not even be able to hang anymore you know now i do know that like with me getting up early because i know a couple weeks well i think it was like a week or two i wasn't doing um overtime like i wasn't getting up at 4 45 in the morning so i wasn't working at five o'clock i was sleeping in and i noticed that my body would start getting used to it and i would sleep in later and later but we really never really can sleep past like 7 30 because baby girl usually wakes up around 7 30 unless we let her hang with us all night um and then she'll sleep to like nine but it's like if you want a night to yourself you know and because it's like dealing with her all day is a lot it's a lot so i'll be ready to put her down at 8 30 i'm like girl go ahead on like good night okay her and Katie, because Katie is, is 10, about to be 11, but he's absolutely no better. Like I said, he's no better. He mommy me all day, up under me all day. I, everywhere I move, he moves. It's like literally two shadows everywhere I go. It's so annoying. And then Katie has this thing where he feel like he sighs. Like, I'm, I'm like, I know we was in a pandemic and we was all trapped up in the house together and stuff like that, but little boy, you are still a child. I am not your friend. I am your mother, you know, and you don't get to like be on my level with stuff. So coming out of the pandemic, this little boy think he grew up 13 years. Like, no, 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 and no. So that's one thing I'm like trying to, we're trying to work on with him is like stay in your lane, you are a child. Like, don't question me. So we had a little family meeting on Saturday in my office. And we were going over um, splitting up the duties of the house. Because Kaden obviously cannot keep up with doing the dishes every day like he's supposed to. We still have to tell him, stay on top of him. Sometimes I still, you know, do him or whatever. So I'm like, all right. And then when it comes to the lights, him and Sean, like Sean's horrible with just leaving lights on. And I'm like, why are y'all just so careless with lights? And the only thing I could think of is because I pretty much manage the bills, you know? So like, I'll tell Sean what a bill is and how much it is. And then he just gives me the money for it, you know, give me his portion of it or whatever. And that's how we do the bills. 
um, because I y'all know if y'all know me, I've been write I write everything down. So I have a whole book just for bills where I write them down, what I paid, if I paid anything over, if I have a balance, like if I'm paying on something like credit cards, like that, I write it down. I use highlighters and everything else. I think I showed it on a vlog one time. Um, but if y'all want to show how I do my bills, let me know because um, it works. My mom showed me. And I kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it like my own way to what works for me. But it really works. So, yeah. So, like, I feel like because Sean doesn't physically see the bill, he just, like, gives his money for him. He doesn't really take heed into how much we use in electricity unnecessarily, too. So I'm always, even from like our old, old townhouse back in like 2017, I was always like, Sean, turn the damn lights off. Like, God dang, it'd be so annoying. Turn the lights off. So Kanan and him both leave lights on. So I also, in our family meeting, we went over um, if a person leaves a light on. So let's, for example, if Sean is in the garage and leaves out the garage and then I go downstairs and I see that the light is on in the garage I get to tell Sean give me a dollar like give me a dollar you got the light on in the garage so he has to give me a dollar I put my initial on the dollar me and Kaden both have our first name start with C so I put CJ Kaden just puts the C because we're not trying to mark up on on money but a little tiny dollar a little tiny um letter ink on her so I put a C on a CJ on my dollar and I put it in the jar. Same thing for Kaden. If Kaden um, sees Sean or if, K if Sean catches Kaden with a, leaving the light on, um, Kaden has to give Sean a dollar. Sean puts an S on the dollar and y'all know how I go, right? So we all put dollars in the jar. At the end of the month, when the bills are due, um, whoever has the most money in the jar whoever's dollars have the most in the jar that person gets the entire jar meaning that person was the one who was okay this is my turn that person was the one who was um more attentive i don't think that's the word i wanted to use but that's the first one that came to my mind more attentive to the lights being on right and like, I know it's Easter Sunday, but stuff ain't closed on Easter. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, more attentive to the lights being on. And that person is the one who caught the most people leaving the light on. So I um, was like, this is how we're going to do that. And I feel like it's a good thing, you know, because nobody wants to keep giving money away. And then at the same time, people want to win the money in a jar, which y'all know I'm going to win, right? But when they start get the, getting the hang of it, they should pick up on it and be like, all right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, run in the Dollar Tree and try to grab the kids uh, Easter basket. I've never celebrated Easter, like, as far as, like, Easter baskets and stuff. My mom wasn't big on it either growing up, but we did get, like, Easter baskets a few times. I don't remember it being, like, every single year, not like that, but I'm like, it's a little something fun for them. So I'm going to just throw some stuff together in an Easter basket for the kids real quick. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm like, whatever, I'm already here, so, but yeah, so, um, that's it, right, that, 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 that is, uh, a bit much, you know, and I'm like, y'all need to be a more, be more attentive of the lights being on, being more considerate of the bill, and things like that, Kaden, you don't pay any bills around here, so you definitely need to be more considerate, and then Sean, you need to be a little more caring like um because he's kind of like careless with certain stuff like he'll leave his wallet in the car keys in the car his just it's just like come on like be more responsible with your stuff too like come on so that was our family meeting so we all have two days a week that we um are responsible for doing the downstairs the whole kitchen living room bathroom vacuuming all of that two days out the week um to do that and get that done and then on Sundays, we all pitch in and clean the house together. So today's Sunday. Here go, Kaden. Mommy, I'm, I'm, I'm in there washing clothes, right? Because we literally just had this meeting Saturday. So I'm in there washing clothes. And this is what I mean when I say Kaden thinks he's my size. I'm in there washing clothes. Mommy, um, Sunday, is Sunday your day to wash? My, your little business, little boy. So 
I'm gonna go in here, see if I can grab. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get nothing big and extravagant for them. I'm just gonna get them a few little toys. Baby girl was looking at um, the little sand buckets, shovels, and stuff like that. I'll probably get her a few little coloring books. You know, not a, a few things of candy, not too too much because we all need to go get our teeth clean, and I don't want them to have no cavities and all like that. But let me go in here and start running my mouth. I forgot things not a dollar no more. Stuff is a dollar. Um, a dollar twenty-five. I ain't wanna one of these little buckets. I'm gonna get a little cheap ball for the backyard. Oh, it's a little water thing. table while she's eating today. Mommy, Just got back. My phone died while I was in Dollar Tree. I got no. the kids a little bit. Let's see. You can get your stuff. And then you get your stuff, baby girl, okay? Okay. I found a little something because I was like, I'm going to get candy. Can I get my ball? Can I get my ball? Can I get my ball? Yeah. I know. See your stuff? You got this? Uh-huh. Mommy got you this. Uh huh. <gasps> wow. Why didn't I just get the what? Nice. Oh, I don't know if I don't know that. I got your jump rope. Cause I feel like she she's gonna be wanting a jump rope in here. I got you some receipt cups. Some putty. Some socks. You got some lollipops. Okay. I got my lollipop. Got you a little doll. I got her okay. my doll. And then I got you a sticker book. Look at all the stickers. Oh, look, baby. It's like painting, but she want all her lollipops. Get it, book. Look, baby. Uh, uh. Finish eating. Eat your food, Rain, first, okay? Nice, nice. Yeah, wash it off first. Okay. Look at the stickers. Look, oh, look it. And you can look put them on the faces, okay? So we'll do that later on. I want to get y'all a little something, something. I did. I, my mom did it for us. You know, I don't think you get to put so much. Um, yeah, you can just do it real light. Like, just let it like. There you go. Perfect. All right, one more time, then we're gonna go. I ain't putting nothing to that, my bad. All right, y'all, so it's looking like today's gonna be the total opposite of the day I had called it to be, which was a bad day. And I'm okay with that. I'm good with that. Cause I'm like, I'm about to be working and I wanna enjoy as much of my time off as I can. So we're gonna come back. We're running to the store real quick to get some, um, some things for trying to make breakfast he's gonna make um what are you making ackee sawfish and dumpling and green banana and then we'll probably get dressed and uh well i'm gonna keep on what i have on but i'll probably just wash up a little bit and then we're gonna um go to the park or like an open field by the water or something like that and just play frisbee for a little bit chill probably bring out some snacks and um, a little cooler with some drinks in it and just have a little day outside. We should grill outside. We got a little small grill we can bring. A little tiny little grill. Oh, we don't have one. You say, yeah, no. 
That would be cool though. It's hot out here. But I am in She's Modish. This is a hoodie I have for a while. Oh, y'all, that's my first time at a Lidl. So I'm about to go in here and see what it's about. Sean said it's like an Audi. So I'm like, okay, well, that's cool because I've been all fresh for Audi to come. But meanwhile, there's a Lidl right down the street all this time. It's simple. I love it. Having you near me. Having you here. Our conversations. Outrageous. You smile. And I smile when I say. Oh, this is getting personal. 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 Let's stay for a while. And play, girl, let's make this a moment. Oh. Good morning. It's breakfast, lost track of time, but we've had a ball. Let's catch a movie, a movie, then dinner. Tonight's the night, we we'll just unwind and stay. Hey, let's stay personal, personal, personal. Let's stay for a while. Hey, a beautiful woman. Oh, oh, oh. Alright y'all, 
here's breakfast. Put, keep that on. Keep it on. You could take it off when you're done eating. So I got a boiled dumpling, green bananas, a plantain, and a king sausage. Hmm. No way. That's yummy, baby. Yum, no yummy. way. Yummy. Yummy. Kaden got his food. Mm -hmm. Kaden got his food. Mm -hmm. Kaden got his food. Y'all know Kaden be acting brand new, y'all. Housework is no joke, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm tired. My feet hurt. I thought I need a good rub down. Sean went to Ryan the store real quick. He got Ryan with him. Because I just needed a break. She's on go. Her and Kaden, both of them are always just on go. So I got him upstairs cleaning his bathroom. I'm getting ready to make my way up and finish the bathroom. Chuck my clothes in the dryer. Put new linen on the bed. I just got through doing the kitchen. Kaden vacuumed the dining room and the living room. So it's like nice and clean in here. Don't mind that couch, y'all. It is what it is. It ain't going upstairs to the office. But I really do love it off the drug. So when we do move and get our own place, like buy house, I want a formal um, type dining room. It's probably going to end up being um, an antique room. An antique, like, sitting room. And I'm going to have that there. And just, like, some nice older pieces. Because I do like antiques. I like generational things. And then that um, saxophone will go over it because it has blues. It'll pull the blue out and it'll just be a really nice one. I always wanted like a piano so I, I could have a nice old piano in it. The nice wood piano too that matches like this wood. Oh my God, I would love that. Yes. So don't mind that. Um, I'm so hot, y'all. Oh, golly. Mm -hmm. I feel good, though. I'm really glad that I did have this energy. I wish I had this energy on a Friday so I could kind of, like, have today be my relaxed day. And I'm supposed to be vlogging, you know, so y'all can, like, see what we do on our Sundays. But sometimes when you're just, like, in the moment, it, it takes a lot. First of all, let me back up. It takes a lot to vlog when you're, like, moving around so much. You know, cooking, cleaning, different angles. Because you don't want someone looking at the same angle the whole time. Because it can get boring and it can click off the video. So, a lot of times I try to move the angles. But sometimes I'm, I just get in my zone. And I'm just like, whatever, I'm cooking. I'll just speed it up so it's not that long. Um, but, you know, and then you don't want like a shaky hand moving all the time. So, you want to set your camera like on a tripod. And to move the tripod, to just, it's just so much work, y'all when you do like content videos that's a content video even though it's within a vlog if y'all are watching me clean and, and do all that you gotta like put the camera somewhere where y'all can see everything and i'll be just moving around like if i go upstairs to put something upstairs i sometimes get caught upstairs and i stay up there for a minute and i'm like pump it let me just go ahead and do the bathroom real quick you know <sighs> and i'm not gonna come back down get the tripod take it back upstairs so it's just a lot it's a lot so um, the kitchen, like when I did the refrigerator organization, that was, that was cool because y'all were just looking at the fridge. I set the tripod right there. It was easy. When I did the pantry, that'll be easy. When I do the bathroom, that'll be easy. But when I'm like actually cleaning, especially because it's a house, it's like up and down the stairs, four bedrooms. It's a lot. It is a lot of work. So I'm busting a sweat, but I want to keep going. I want to keep my momentum because it's still kind of early. It's only 2.35. I want to be done by five so I can actually like relax like the rest of the evening. I really want to relax. I think I'm going to do Rain's hair. She's about to rock like big cornrows. Not too, too big, but I might give her like eight, four down the side, each side type of deal. Put her bees on there and call it a day because I want to relax. I really do. Anyway, let me go ahead up here and um, 
finish what I'm doing while Sean got baby girl out the house. This is why I'm back real quick before I get up, y'all. I just so happy to just turn around and look up. Do y'all see how thick the dust is on this ceiling fan? And it's high ceilings in here. But look at this. Let me zoom in. This is why Sean gonna have to get up on the ladder or whatever and get this off. Look at this. That's disgusting. Y'all see that? Like, this is very important to clean. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. And the crazy thing is we even hardly even use this fan. That's the crazy thing. We always clean the one over our bed because we can reach it easily. But this right here is ridiculous. Like, we've cleaned it maybe twice since we've been in this house. And I'm sure it needs to be cleaned at least once a month. Like, look at this. Look how thick, y'all. So imagine if I turn this thing on. Like, all the dust and dirt is collecting and just blowing around. So I'm going to tell Shauna, um get that together like yeah matter of fact you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just go ahead and book a cleaner lady bump it all right the house is nice and quiet i'm gonna lay baby girl down she's been down for about 20 minutes so i put another little clothes in i'm getting ready to get in the shower just because i've been moving around all day and i'm gonna freshen up <sighs> we have our blankets and stuff in the wash so i only have sheets on the bed right now so hopefully when i'm done the shower they'll be done so what's up so rain just woke up she literally just woke up as soon as i walked out the door so sean's done over her right now i am headed to the bank because i need to do a transfer move i just gotta move some money around i hate auto pay I never use auto pay, but I do have auto pay set up on some things. But y'all, I, I have my auto pay set up on one account because. Hold on. This man go is brown, okay? I have auto pay set up on one of my accounts, which is just strictly auto pay, like strictly where my bills and stuff come out of. Wow. Let me take that back. I have three different banks I bank with. Right? And the way I have my money set up, not to get y'all all in my business, but you know, it can help you mind. Because me personally, I don't know how people do everything out of one account. Like, different banks offer different things like i don't know i just like different banks for different things you know what i'm saying so i was like let me run out of here and go ahead and move some money over so i gotta move some money from bank of america deposit it into my navy because um there are a few bills that are coming out like i told y'all i use my navy for my bill account and the reason why i have navy set up for my bill account is because navy has really good interest fees so when i go to them if i want to get like a personal loan or a business loan or a home loan you know possibly i can go through them i also have um a few um credit cards with capital one i also have um i had a car um that i financed and paid off with capital one financing as well so i have really good rapport with capital one and i've had capital one for years so i'm good with them so i could go to them for a loan as well or like you know them to finance anything or whatever the case so like they be hitting me up all the time um like you've been pre-approved for capital one finance and want me to get another car and i'll be looking like oh girl so i don't know sometimes i'll be like girl you can you can you can stay in the sit up a little higher you can stay in the sit up a little higher because I, I i used to want my audi q7 but the way my life is set up and how my car ends up being like the family car and it's just always looking a mess i'm like you know what this right this car right here is gonna stay the family car and i want a toy car for me and i'm not too pressed for like the luxury car anymore i kind of feel like i'm in a different type of climate the weather's a little nicer all year more well not all year round but majority of the year um i want a jeep i want a red jeep i want my shit sitting high too i want a jeep rubicon that's what i want and that's what i'm gonna get I want a red Jeep Rubicon. If y'all saw my um, if y'all saw my my um vision board, then y'all saw it on there. I have it on there. I'm not even. I don't even know if I want the um 
the Q7 again. Like they, they changed the model, the body um, of the newer ones. And I kind of like the older style, but I don't want like an older car. And I'm just like, psh, bump it. So I'm kind of like over the Q7 now. I do like the Q8s, but I'm just not interested. I'm like, you know what? I want something that fits me a little more. I'm like, fine. Y'all see how I am. I'm just like, uh, my life right now isn't set up to be driving a luxury vehicle. When I had my Lexus, it was just Kaden, and he was young. I had my leather seats. He was young. Of course, you know, when they're younger, they make the biggest mess in their car seat and stuff. But it was real easy to just wipe up. Now it's two of them. And the way my back seat be looking, y'all. Y'all see this? I don't even know if y'all can see, but no. Mm -mm. I was like, I'm good. Mm -mm. I'm in my Jeep. I'm in my Jeep. And when I want to run out, I have my little fire running my ass stuff. Don't come for me. I know I'm carrying it out. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. We were driving earlier. And we was looking like, why is there so much traffic on the road when we was going to Lido? However you pronounce that store. And we looked over. They had a whole cop outside directing traffic. And we looked over. I'm like, oh, it must be a car sign. Y'all, it was an answer to a church. I don't understand. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why do people go to church? Why do people make sure they get Sunday fresh? Go out and buy a whole new outfit, get their nails done, hair done, all this other stuff to go to church on Easter and then don't go again until New Year's Eve. I don't care. I just don't care. I'm about to go ahead and take care of and get back home. And chill with the fam, figure out what we're gonna eat. Sean was gonna throw some stuff on the grill, but it's already five o'clock and we both just wind down, took our showers, you know chilled out we're not trying to like go outside in the, in the comments i'm i'm a little irritated i'm even out now i'm like dang i just got a shower look at look at freshy if you don't come on sir and get your money out this machine i still ain't here for my nail guy <sighs> i was like should i facetime him like you know how instagram you can call <laughs> i'm so pressed i'm like should i um should i call him and I put some stuff on, um, I put some stuff on, um, excuse me, the next door app. And, um, and, uh, for free. So I told people they can come get it. So I'm going to see if anybody responds. All right, let me, let me go up in here. Yeah, I remember when I did that, um, I volunteered at that. That giveaway, it was for a nonprofit organization in my mom's neighborhood, and they had like all that stuff lined up, like all those products and just a whole bunch of everything. Um, if y'all remember, I did that. So I had gotten a big box. Oh shoot, I got the camera in the way. I had got a big box of products, and my plan was to just kind of like open it up in my neighborhood and let people just come get it. I invited my neighbor next door across the street to come over and go through whatever she wants because there's like hella tanning spray, um, L'Oreal moisturizing facial cream, which I like. I, I used it actually. Um, there's like these edge controls, which I'm using all of those. There's only like, I think six left. There's three got to be, got to be, um, sprays. I'm using those. I'm going to keep those, but like everything else, it's a whole lot of, um, moisturizer creams, facial cream, skincare products. And then hella tanning sprays and some clothes. All stuff is brand new. And um, I had a box, a, a big um, tote of um, perishables, some food. 
and I don't want to sell it. Like, I'm like, I don't want to sell it. This stuff wasn't, um, this stuff wasn't bought by me. Hold on, y'all. Y'all about to turn. Well, I'm going to just put y'all. It wasn't purchased by me. It was given. So, why would I sell it, right? And I'm like, all right, well, I could just go ahead and give it away. So, I put the stuff up on the app and told them, you know, first come, first serve. When you get here, you can go through other stuff. On top of which, y'all know we got, like, those big old bags of Goodwill items. Paint on shoes he can't fit. Some of them are new. Like, not new, but in really good condition. Like, he has a pair of Jordans that he probably only wore, like, maybe 10 times. They're not dog at all. They just need um, some shoelaces. And just, you know, and um, somebody hit me up, and she's going to come and get, like, the perishables, like, the food stuff. And then um, I told her I have um, tanning spray. She was like, oh, my God. Because what am I going to do with tanning spray, you know? So, I have so much tanning spray. I texted her my address, so she's going to come. I told her I'll be home in 45 minutes. I'm actually going to stop at Little Caesars and get the kids a pizza because today is just one of them days we're not cooking everything. Sean made breakfast. We ate kind of late. We ate breakfast late. I think we were done eating around like 1.30. So, we're not going to do any more cooking tonight. We're going to just... Um, well, me and Sean are going to eat leftovers. But I don't know, y'all. Is everything closed? Oh, no, they're open. Just people not eating. People like, we eating Sunday dinner. Well. What? They are closed, y'all. Little Caesars was like, we closed today. Ain't no pizza over there for us. Nope. Nope, but y'all know who opened the Chinese store? They like, we open. We getting our money. Little Caesars was like, we are closed. Look at this. Closed, but y'all yeah, see Asian Express. They're like, we get no money, but nobody going in there though. I really honestly didn't think places was closed on Easter Sunday. I ain't gonna lie, I really did not. I did not. I was a nice little um, storefront. I know the nails and all that's true for sure, but <sighs> I mean, it is what it is. There's so much food in the house, y'all. I'm not even about to stress because Katie can make a burger um we got fish sticks in there for baby girl she wants some fish sticks we got food i ain't about to stress it out plus i need to um i need to use this money for my envelope stuff and i'm getting ready to do so because we're coming up into the new month and it's time to get finances in order for may we got some trips coming up that i want to take we're planning a couple trip to LA this summer. I don't know if I told y'all, but we're planning a couple trip to LA. There's a spot that I want to go to um, called Pedro. Was it San Pedro Fish Market Restaurant? Mm -mm, y'all, no bowl. And we're doing it um, couples trip because it's like that restaurant alone. The way it's set up, it's mukbang style. So, ain't no way in the world me and Sean about to eat through all that. He don't even really eat, like, a whole bunch of different seafoods. He don't do shrimp. He don't do scallops. Like, he don't really, you know, he just really stick with his fish. He might bite a lobster, but he not, he not with it. So, we are doing a couple style, and we're going to um, all rent a Air one Airbnb and stay in there. And then... My sister's birthday um, party is coming up. We got that to go to. And it's just a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot, y'all. But it's all good, you know. We're going to make it do what it do. All while still taking care of business. That's for sure. Because I ain't doing nothing if business ain't taking care of it. I don't like that. I did that back in my day, though. I ain't gonna lie. My 20s, I was like, what? Bills can't wait. <laughs> Bills can't wait. As if they wouldn't pile up. As if them charges don't roll over to the next month with late fees. I was so reckless when I was in my 20s, y'all. I didn't care. I'm gonna have to give y'all a couple story times. I have a few. Matter of fact, I might go ahead and give y'all a story time. I don't know when I'm gonna release it, though, but I have so many story times. I'm trying to dig for my lip gloss. Hold on. 
Yeah, y'all, I have so many story times I could tell y'all, especially in my 20s. I was reckless. I was reckless. Reckless, y'all. In my 20s, I got locked up before. Um, what else? I wasn't really like, I could fight, but I wasn't really like a fighter. I think, I think I was cool enough to not have to fight. I got into one though, like, and it's sad because that that wasn't even a fight. That was that was sad. That was sad. I had to tell y'all about that another day. But I got some story times, y'all. I have some story times. But um, you know what? If I could do it all over again, you know how they be like, if you could do life all over again, what would you um do differently? And it's a lot, of course, I would change or do differently, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things. But when it comes to, like, my struggle and how I used to live and, like, the things that I did, the things that I got in trouble for, because I'm not perfect. Like, let me tell y'all. I'm one thing about me, because when I channel blow up, because it is gonna blow up, because I'm claiming it, manifesting it, and all of that good stuff. When it gets up there in numbers, you got people that try to like pick and try to dig and dig. I mean, I'm talking about they will dig through the crust of the crust of the crust of the earth to try to pull things that you did in the past. They'll go look at old tweets from freaking 1887 that you said and try to just, you know. But let me tell y'all this, like, one thing about me, I am probably, I'm the realest you ever seen. I can't say it no other way. Like, I am just very real. Very real. And if anybody tell y'all otherwise, they're a lie. They're a whole lie. They're a whole lie. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, that's right. Everybody has said something about somebody behind their back. That's me being real. I'm being real by saying that. I'm being real by saying I have in life spoken about people behind their backs. However, one thing I can say is if it one were to, so like I never talk something about somebody behind their back with the intentions on like, oh, they'll never know or oh I, they can't find out type of thing if it it's either i don't want to tell you what i have to tell you because i feel like you already know it i don't have to i don't have to tell you that or or it's like you it gets to you before i told you or i've already told you and now i'm gonna tell this person too like you know what i'm saying everybody has done that like we've all been teenagers we've all been out just pe pe I can't even say teenagers people people have said stuff people have opinions and they share with others whatever that's just what it is i have been talked about behind my back and i have talked behind a back or two or three or four four or five and keep it from me who knows at the end of the day though one thing i can say about me if you come back to me and say did you say this or whatever or did you say that or i heard that you did that listen if i could say it once i could say it twice if i could say it behind you i could say it to you and that's how i get down that's how i roll because if i said it it's out there already you can't take those words back once you say something you cannot take it back it's already been out there just like with the internet the moment I, my channel blows up and i post something you know what I'm saying? Something. It could be like, oh my God, I accidentally like showed my address on a piece of mail. What? It is out there. has been duplicated, triplicated, quadruplicated, if that's a word. Okay. Like, it's out there forever. When you tweet something, it's out there forever. You know what I mean? And so, when I say something, I know what I'm saying and I don't have a problem. So, a lot of times, people just don't like the truth. And it, it is what it is, you know. People just don't like the truth, and it is what it is. So, but I could definitely, um, I could tell you if I said something about you to you, okay? I'd be like, yeah, girl, I said da 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 because I do feel like blah blah blah. blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I feel like somebody's talking about me, I could be like, I feel like you want to get my behind my back. I could be wrong, but if I'm, I'm gonna go with my gut instinct, and I'm like, I said I feel like that. It don't mean it's a hundred. It don't mean it's a hundred. But I'm coming to you, and I'm like, you know, I feel like you want to get out. 
And it's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? If it were to ever get back to me, I would just be like, okay, confirmation. You know what I'm saying? But other than that. So anyway, I said all of that to say, because I know I'm always walking y'all around in my right bush. Um, I said all that to say that basically people are going to um, start digging and prying and just looking for stuff to shame your name. And that's why I always wanted to be the type of person where I can share my, my stuff first. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm digging up stuff from like 2007 and I'm going to just share with y'all like my whole timeline of life. No, but as we, you know, go through this journey together and things come up or story times or whatever, I'll share y'all, um, you know, a little something, something. But it's like, you know. I want, I'd rather y'all hear from me first. And then if y'all do hear something and it y'all never heard it from my mouth, y'all can definitely be like, Chris, did you ever? And I would be like, girl, I did. I did. Or I didn't. They're lying. You know what I'm saying? One or the other. But anyway, we're real over here. We don't do fake over here. Jaybirds are not fake over here. We're transparent over here. We're one big loving family over here. And we speak our minds. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm So if you a real one, subscribe. Welcome. Okay, we love you. If you fake, go ahead on. Go ahead on to the next one because this channel is not for you. Nope, it's not. It's not. Now hold on, baby. Just hold the pencil. Let me get the stickers. Okay. Which one you want to do? You want to do this one? This one. That one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it doesn't go in your hand. We gotta put it on the people's face. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, stick it right here. Okay. Put it right there, baby. <gasps> I'm, so, I'm so hard, baby. Yes, I did it. You did do it, but let's pull it down some. Okay. The mouth is down here. I did it. Yeah, put it on. Stick it. Put it on. Good job. Good job. All right, now let's put the eyes on. Okay, that's for the eyes. Here go the eyes. Look, baby. Hold it. Hold it. Hold that one. Put it right here. Uh-uh. Right here. <gasps> good. Give me five. Good job. That was a good one. Let's do the other eye. There you go. Put the eye on, baby. Okay. Put it right there. Okay. Good job, Stinky. Give me five. And Let's do the nose. We got the nose. Put the nose on right here. Okay. okay. Put the nose. Uh -uh, right here, baby. Right there. Under the eyes. Right here. See where your nose is? Put it right there. You're going to put it. The nose doesn't go in the eyes. Under the eyes. Good job! Now you color the people in, see? Yeah, you color. You wanna do another one? Hey y'all, this is about to wrap up our Sunday. I'm in my office. I'm getting ready to edit. The kids are getting ready to eat dinner. I'm not hungry yet. Sean just ate. <clears throat> I'm not hungry. I'll probably eat something. I'm tired y'all. I just want to like hurry up and edit because I'm sitting at my desk and y'all already know I'm going to be sitting all day tomorrow. Um, I might like move to the bed though when Sean comes up. Rain is acting so fussy y'all. They've been arguing over the daggone um, Easter baskets all day long. She thinks everything is hers. I'm waiting on this lady to come pick up some of the stuff. I haven't heard back from her after I text her my address so... Hopefully she comes or she doesn't, whatever. Um, but that wraps up our Sunday. This Sunday was real chill, real laid back. Um, but we did our typical thing still, I feel like anyway. Cleaned, um, went grocery shopping, washed clothes. Y'all know, typical thing. And now I'm adding in the video. I really, really want to be on Target for this week. Because last week, girl, what were you doing? I was so off schedule. All I gave y'all was Monday. The reason is because if I don't edit at least two vlogs on the weekend, I'm not going to just say Sunday. If I don't edit at least two vlogs, excuse me, on the weekend, I'm usually messed up in the game because Mondays I work all day, Tuesdays I work all day. And I'm tired and I don't like falling asleep after, um, like while I'm editing and it's, it's, it's just not good for me to try to edit on Monday night. So I really like to have, um... 
Monday and Wednesday vlogs edited by Sunday evening. Now, um, y'all know I'm trying to also be consistent on my other channel. So, on that channel, I'm starting off nice and slow. And I'm just doing one video a day. I mean, a week. And on that channel, I did upload. Um, I upload on Sundays on that channel. So, <clears throat> that worked out. And I have that video up. If you guys have not checked it out, go ahead and do so. By the time y'all see this, there might even be two new videos up on that channel. I'm not sure. <sighs> but yeah. But yeah, y'all. Just go ahead and um check that video out. It's always in the community tab and in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I want to thank y'all so much for watching and rocking with your girl. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. Be sure to ring the bell so you never miss when I upload another video. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.